You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. I might do some mushrooms in a minute if you wanna join me, missus! to some more Danganronpa. You know, every time I start this game, I think that it's called Danganronpa, but then I hear Monokuma Chess come over the intercom and I'm like, he's, he's saying he's saying Dangan. It's all good. Speaking of Monokuma, we know where we left off. He about to hit me with a really interesting plot twist and I cannot wait. What if it was really like this? Literally right back into the plot. Hope you're having a great day. What the heck? What is is that? Uh, of course. Isn't it obvious? Yep. A suicide note. Sakura suicide note. What? But Hina already. Too bad. Oh, I wrote that one. It was all me, baby. It's true. This is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put it in her room. Oh my gosh. Huh? He and he about to be in for, for a surprise. Huh? You lied to me? Unbelievable. Oh, don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I'd live life and think some of it. Well, now, well, now, well, now, well, now. Ugh, bro, be quiet. I can't help it if you totally took my little scribble as an at face value. <laughs> it didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. <laughs> you filthy little... Cut. I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. Poom, poom. Did I falsely evidence? I mean, falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? The case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Phew. Heck, even if the will had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. Sing. So what's the problem? This is all part of the production process, okay? And scene cut. And? So then, what did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked! <laughs> this nigga Monokuma hilarious. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. Oh, let me, uh, hold up. Let me get some water in me first. Ugh. Hey, hey! But you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place. But hold on. And isn't it just so unfortunate killing yourself is just so final, you know? <laughs> you can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. Gives me the willies. That's the thing about this game is like they really be touching on some real stuff. Subtly though. Like it's subtle. E even in the, the constant dark drama of this series. This sentence is pretty fire. Enough already. Some good sentences in this game. Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, jeez. Talk about a buzzkill. All right, here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> My good friend Nina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, Ooh. I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. Sadly, Snitch, still. It was our first night in this strange school that the Mastermind came to see me. So the Mastermind is still a different person. I keep seeing that bald dude show up, but maybe we get to see him this episode. You see... The Mastermind took control of my family's dojo okay. and demanded I become their tool. Damn. You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. Uh, Sakura, I can't stop looking at them pectoral tit- Them pick titties Them pectoral titties Them pectoral- Let me chill What are those, though? 
Should I be turned on? That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. I mean, you're in a, you're in a school trial full of murders. I expect nothing less. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan had changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we had reached another stalemate. I almost kind of talking to Italian However, now. However, as I lived here with all of you... She grew to really like as us. As I lived here with Hina, wow. my resolve began to weaken. So she came in ready to be a mercenary and softened up. Ugh. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart. The mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than anything... I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. Damn. That's how I came to feel. So that's why Sakura... I can't get her name right to save I've my life. I've made a decision. Wow. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. Damn. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. So Monokuma is the mastermind, but it's like, like, like in the Saw movies, how what's his name? You use Jigsaw, the doll. It's the same, the same concept. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Moronic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic, or just moronic. Hmm. Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. We, we don't hate you at all. We just was misunderstood. Maybe you were misunderstood. I'm perfectly, oh, sorry. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Mm. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion and disharmony. The mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. There's no way she's writing that clearly. Sorry about that. There's no way she's writing that clearly with that form on her right hand. And she's not even gripping the paper with the left. That paper not slipping and sliding like a waterfall bit. I have an obligation to get this situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the mastermind has commanded. I will do as I was told and commit murder. But I've decided the one I'm oh. going to kill is oh. Oh. myself. Oh. If the mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Damn. The ultimate dishonor, that's not even the ultimate dishonor in betraying us coming in. You gotta stay alive, even though the mastermind did kind of pick you out. I would too, if I'm being completely honest, look at you. You grew to love us, but then took your own life. It's honorable where you come from, but where I come from, <sighs> good luck. Then my dojo will be safe. And above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflicting among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Honor. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. We just met you this semester. Calm down. We hated you before you got up out of here. Scribble that one out. 
I've never had people like you in my life. I'm going to drink water now. Stop talking. Huh? Then, Sakura didn't feel cornered. She didn't die hating us. No way! She wanted to stop us from fighting to protect us? Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However... It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. <laughs> Damn, she can't, she can't understand that kind of strength. Finally. Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. Hmm. The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really, truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, if I can thwart... <laughs> That's such a funny word. If I can thwart, if I can keep you from killing each other, thwart! That's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. Thwart! And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. Aw, oh, Monokuma, you're a bitch. Why did he not pull this out? I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Kuya, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. That's really the rest of us. And Kyoko and myself. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I am doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully then they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Oh, God. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. Wow. Powerful note. But... but... <laughs> this... This is... Watch, I guarantee this dude, Kuya, is not gonna be affected. He's gonna be like, fuck her, fuck that note. I'm really trying not to use the F word as much. She's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, freak her, freak that note. I don't want anything to do with that freak leak. <clears throat> I, I didn't understand how she felt, not at all. I thought we were close, and still. What are you gonna do? But in the end, all her meddling was like, Totally pointless. Uh -oh. She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other, but he almost ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> oh, that's so insulting. Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. <laughs> In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly bit the big one. Too bad. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead, she deserves it! <laughs> <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you mean, next victim? Nobody here is blaming anyone. Huh? First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't See a waste. What? Because she made us remember. We're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. Ooh, you know? Monokuma? I mean, Mokado Big Mac. Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. Well? I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody blame Hina either. Oh, whether or not there was a spy never really mattered because the one we need to destroy is you, nobody else. What? What do you want? What the heck? That's not how this is supposed to go! How strange. But anyway, are you sure about that? Are you sure? <laughs> this killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Hey! Your enemy is each other. <laughs> He's absolutely right about that. Phew! Ah, lovely Kuya! You understand, don't you? what I tell you? Hm. 
This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. <laughs> Which is why I am bowing out of the game. Whoa! Ah! The soundtrack heat. What is he talking about? What does that mean? I'm bowing out of the game. Is that suicide? He just give up? He not gonna kill anymore? This could be the most respectable moment of the series. Huh? Huh? Naturally. Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear that others have cast aside their fear for this game. Don't make me repeat myself. There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What? What's going on here? Hmm. Now, I have only one thing to look forward to. It's all clear now. And that is to heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Kuya, does this mean? Don't <laughs> misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Wherever master goes, I go. And if the mastermind turns out to be a guy, maybe I can catch on fire. A everyone. Hey. Well, now can you say that Sakura's death had no meaning? <laughs> oh! This is fire. They just... Yo, Sakura. Sakura. We hear you. Sakura. Sakura. We hear you. But nothing good can come of this. <laughs> I'm still gonna be the one having the fun time. What the heck? That's so crazy. This is really anime, though. The second of glimmer... I mean, the, the seconds of hope that you have glimmer in these animes... I hope I said that right. Is immediately crushed. That's why I used to hate watching Dragon Ball Z. Because even even when they defeated a monster, you always knew somebody else was coming to destroy Earth very quickly. And here come Monokuma doing the same thing to me. The fun time. Hmm. Anyway, let's forget about that good for nothing backstabber and get back on track. You want me to punish it's you guys? The it's the moment you all been waiting for. Punishment time. What? <laughs> Wait, but Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead. Y y you're not gonna. But I I this is me. Wrong. Oh heavens, no! Just because the blacken is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whatever old student I want. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I'm very particular about the bare times one rule? Listen up. But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment. It'd be a shame to let it go to waste. Yeah. So, for my special punishment, I prepared a special guest! A special guest? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Who could he be talking about? Is he, if he brings somebody back... I knew it was gonna be Chihiro! I knew it! I had a feeling... Look at this dude in that stupid ass hat. This when you have muscles, you lazy bitch. Excavator destroyer. Why do we have to see her take pain? I mean, see him take pain. Oh my gosh. Monokuma needs to be in Jump Force. I would say Smash, but f that. I don't want to see him in my game. Jump Force, y'all got that. This dude a punk, bro. You see how slow it took that f***ing bulldozer to get out of here with your big fat ass? Y you. Oh, no! You suck, man. You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk. Here. Whoa. That really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. 
After all, they say for personal. Oh my god. They say for post workout grub, chickens wear a set! And I'm all about the grilled goodness. <laughs> Fried, boiled, give me a break! Sorry, y'all, one second. The color, the smell, the succulents! Grilled is where it's at. <laughs> this dude is crazy. So. Yeah, it's not a real human. I don't I don't feel that bad. It's just it was cool to have him back as alter ego, but you know, he he did his work. He put his he but still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhumane AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. I'm gonna if it's do my best. I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul, and my disbelief gave way to raw anger. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. It bubbled up through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you? That was my friend. How dare you kill him? What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Oh, is that shout outs? Oh no, that was volleyball in um, Castaway. Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop. He was my friend. And you killed him. Hmm. Is that what you call anim animism? Where a soul dwells within all things? Even, like, laptops? Hmm. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find things out all sneaky sneaky. Just as I thought. So... You finally noticed him. Kyoko, when are you going to talk about that dude who jumped me when I went through the bathroom? Yeah, you remember that episode uh, a few weeks ago when I went through the bathroom and some dude jumped me in that little secret room? What's up with Kyoko? So, you finally noticed him. Actually? Finally? No, no, no. I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop. And I knew you were using it to analyze data. Yeah! I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew, and you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge. Yep. Well, I mean, the data in that laptop, it was... I guess you could call it a gift. From me to you. Phew. Or maybe more like a reward, in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um... So, of course I didn't care if you got access to that. <laughs> but sneaking into the network was just too personal. So I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be able to help. Aw, Chihiro. That's all Chihiro wanted when he was alive. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. And for that... He was killed. <laughs> yeah! The punishment time has made me feel a billion times better. Very nice. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing. Ah! It makes me remember that every low can get even lower. No, his, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody who's died so far, the death of each and every one of our friends, they all make us stronger I swear to God someday you will pay for this ba -bum, ba -bum. holy moly you're like super mad like just unreasonably upset well okay time to bring things to a close oh but before that uh-huh I need to read the postscript what postscript yep yep there's still a bit more left of Sakura's notes huh Oh my gosh, this dude Monokuma is dragging this. Look at Hina, broken. <laughs> Do I have your attention? Okay then, here we go. <laughs> Prepare your ears for the dulcet tones of yours truly. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like you to tell the others. Oh, oh sorry, this is uh, Sakura voice. Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of the... What did I just say? 
Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mysteries of this school. What? A clue? Hina. I've spoken with the mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here. And so I've learned one thing. Which is... The mastermind has done something to us. Yo, Sakura. No shit. You dead. We're in a class trial where someone's always dying. We're stuck in this school for eternity, bitch. She didn't deserve that bitch. Rest in peace to the dead. I think what they've done is... Yeah! Oopsie Daisy, that was a close one. Another word and we would have been heap deep, hip deep in spoiler territory. Too bad. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. What? 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 You can't just stop at the most important bit. <laughs> it makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even friggin' know, huh? You guys? That's the whole point, stupid, is to get back at all of you for hardening your resolve. <laughs> Fine. But at least... <laughs> Sucker's note. Hmm. Like I'd ever let any of you grease balls have it. Huh? But... Too bad. Sucks for you, loser. <laughs> huh? Wait, what's this? What? What is it now? Wah wah? There's one last line in the note! Monokuma, bitch. And let me just say this to Mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard, no matter what. And that's seriously it. Hmm? Hmm. Wow. What a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die. She'll f fight you. Hmm. Well, whatever. Who cares what some dead muzzlehead has to say anyway? Well? Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should try to get some rest, you know? Maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> Think about that. Think long and hard. Those were his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was that all about? Sakura's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us. Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Who? What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? Manakuma, what did you do to her body, bruh? The mastermind did something to our bodies. What are they saying the mastermind did? What did the mastermind do to us? I mean, did the mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? And if we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off and the bomb explodes? I've seen stuff like that in the movies and comics and stuff, so it's not totally unheard of. Makoto, you sound like when Deku be having that purple shit fly out of his mouth. He just be muttering bull. Nah, he be, he be muttering some real talk. Hmm. No, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo! So the, so the class trial is over and Monokuma's gone. But... So, now what do we do? Yes. What else is there other than to head back up? Uh, um... Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. But... I, um... Hina must still feel responsible. Hmm. <laughs> Dial back that ego a bit, girl. The kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Stop talking. Shut up. Seriously, I'm sorry. <laughs> How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. 
Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Then, I'll try. Huh? Huh? Th that totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just c capture his flag? No, 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 no! I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. Huh? Well, what are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleaze ball like him? What did you say? Sle sleaze ball? What the heck? That's right! I called you a sleaze ball! Cause you are! Sleaze ball! I see. Apparently you still have a death wish. Are they really uh. arguing right now? Oh, more biting sarcasm! No wonder you don't have any friends! No, 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 no! Hey, stop fighting with Master! You're making me jealous! I want the abuse give and take! Me! What the f***? I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. Damn. Y'all tripping. <laughs> I'll be honest, all of y'all are tripping. Sakura just died. Sakura, Sakura, you know what I'm talking about. Sakura. S Sakura just died so that y'all wouldn't do this and y'all are still doing it after everything unfolded y'all are still doing it man I can't talk about it but there was a time in my life where my family was fighting after it wasn't even my family but families were involved and they were fighting over the death of someone in the family and it's like bro this person would not want y'all to act like this but you can't really help how people feel in moments like that especially when there's nothing you can do to bring that person back it's like all you have all you have is a fight at that point damn was that kind of deep no huh and so sakura's class trial came to an end and we returned to the world of hope's peak academy and i'm gonna eat this mentos just so y'all know i need to i need to clip my fingernails for sure but that story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our rooms. And before long, night, night snuck up on us. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. As such, soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Sweet. Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it, down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen into such a deep sleep. But the night still wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. Wake up. Wake up. Huh? Who's in here? The voice dragged me from my deep slumber into hazy half-consciousness. My eyelids were like lead. Kyoko? Kyoko? Yes, it's me. Huh? Kyoko? Kyoko? How'd you get in here? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Is he drugged? Wait, what? Thank you, wake up. In a flash, I was wide awake. What, what are you doing in here? It's true. I'm here to wake you up. Oh, I see. Wait, but my door! <sighs> it was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Hey. Always. And you don't have time to over... Oh, <clears throat> and you don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. W what time is it? Correct. Three o'clock in the morning, of course. It's 3 a.m.? Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? It, it's so late. What happened? Makoto. I have a favor I need to ask. Uh, 3 a.m. favors? That's the devil hour. I don't know what you're trying to do. What's your favor? So... Remember what Sakura said at the end of her, at the end of her note. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do it? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered, I'm gonna let do fromage. The data center on the fourth floor. 
What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? Her words reverb reverberated through my half-dazed head. The data center? But I thought it was locked. We about to fast travel there. I don't want to be stopped by anybody. Any... No. No. I'm trying to see where is the data center at. Kyoko really came in whispering in my ear like... Okay, so we we can't fast travel, so let's just walk there. We'll probably run into somebody along the way. Leave the area, yes. That's usually what that means when I yeah, see. I made my way into the after hour school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Oh my gosh. Eventually I wound up at the data center. Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She says she'd meet me. But she may be inside already. I put my hand to the door and with a certain amount of force. Rattle, rattle, rattle. It didn't open. Well, she definitely heard it, Makoto, so don't don't feel too bad. I tried again, but... Rattle, rattle. It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor? What's this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, ho! What are you doing up here, mister? Yeah! Was that a good guy, y'all? Let me know in the comments. Yeah! There's not that many letters in what I just said, and there's three letters on the screen. Damn it! Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, uh, you know, I was just, you know... Mm. You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? Hey. But I can see that, you don't. Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself. Unbelievable. It looked like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you going to try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? N no nothing like that, Monokuma. Big ass. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Who Just is a that? second. Oh. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko? Wait, why are they cool? See what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, uh! You too? Oh, nice. You guys? The two of you, just get back to bed! I'm positively exhausted from the class trial! It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. I'm out of here. Shall we go? Don't worry about it, let's just go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Go on, get out of here! Shoo, shoo! What was that? The more and more I, I like, see Kyoko, the more and more I'm starting to realize she might be the spy, bruh. She's way too calm around uh, Monokuma. She's always got, like, the answer in the back of her head as if, like, I don't know, she can see the cameras, maybe? Maybe she's a spy. Oh, no, she's not the spy. Sakura died because she's a spy. And then... Goodbye. So, goodbye. H hold on! Yeah, come on now. Listen, what was all that just now? She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which just happened to be locked, and then she shows up late, and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? Ooh, maybe she was trying to give me about my room because somebody's trying to do me dirty. Whew. Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always. But... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sure. And then that was over. But as I turned to leave... Mukuro Ikusaba. Huh? Whoa! Who? Mukuro Ikosaba? <gasps> what? Muhu? Kyoko was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. Whoa! That's kind of cool! The one they call the ultimate despair. I mean, that's not cool he locked up in a school, Watch but... Out for her. And she's a bad? 
she's bad? Mukuro Ikusaba? Finished? Okay, chapter five then. Look how many people are left in this school. That's still kind of a lot now that I'm looking at it. Alright, chapter four. I'm trying to get into chapter five right now. Okay, the Alter Love present. What does that mean? Like a Pokeball. Oh, wow, that was Alter Ego. Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay, that's the third time you said that in my ear, girl. Go to bed now. <gasps> what? Mukuro Ikusaba. Thanks. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Whoa, whoa, that's a woman, that's genocide. Why would they show me that right now? Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. Those are red nails though, that could be, that could be, that could be Toko, that could be Toko, Hina, or, yeah, it's just them two, huh? Toko is genocide. And Kyoko, of course, is on the freaking chapter thumbnail. 100 mile dash, pain of a junk food junkie, daily life, chapter 5. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall. Hmm. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Huh? Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Ah. Oh. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well? He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think anyway. <laughs> Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is all is as bloated as a cow's udder. My laptop keeps going to sleep, trying to make sure it's recording. Okay. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Woo! Man, you're so boring now. <sighs> you just sit there like a mushroom. You're gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. I might do some mushrooms in a minute if you wanna join me, Mrs. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. <laughs> Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Damn, R. Kelly, relax. Huh? What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Damn. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? Oh my gosh, Toko, you are such a weak woman. Is he beating you behind closed doors and you like it? And then you get shy about it when you turn regular again? Freak. Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? Whew. I believe this is the small talk Kuya warned us against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Kuya, we all started our exploration. Where do I start mine? What the hell? So this must be the day after, but in three days. So I have three opportunities to for free time. Let's look on the map and see who's available. I'm trying to test the waters and see which relationships are starting to get a little a little off. Nobody's really, you can't really tell. Toko seems a lot more broken than normal. Um, I don't see anybody on the map, so what could they want me to do right now? Maybe, maybe, well, the school is, uh, I don't know where they, my bad, freak. 
Maybe we can go in here. Maybe now that I did that, the map changed. If this is free time... Hmm. This game is so twisted. The design of this game. So here I am, on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Pretty up here, though. The fifth floor has been opened up to us, and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up until now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Wouldn't have expected that. So because our oh, Hina, what's up? Um... This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Hmm. Okay, so there's three classrooms, A, B, and C. What the heck is this? Oh, this is the bio room. It says raw on it. Why'd they put the... It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says bio lab. A bio lab? That... That were... A bio lab that we're forbidden from seeing into. Kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Hmm. Alright, um, so let me try, okay, what is this? Our botanical garden, greenhouse, oh of course he's in here, my nigga hero would be in the, bi in the biggest greenhouse possible, you know he's smoking on, Banyan Kush. Hi, I'm Hero, bitch ass. Yo. At first, I, at first I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out they just painted the walls and the ceilings. You know? Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. What the heck? That's not what you're thinking, is it? Yes, I've been thinking it since chapter one. Huh? Why? Is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, the end is nigh! They'll put the plan for global human extinction into action! Well? I'm serious! That's that banyan affecting his system. Don't do drugs, kids. Definitely don't do banyan. That shit too potent. Just to be sure, I should take a look in that tool shed. Say less. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. Leaning against the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? Are we in Fortnite? Season 7? Huh? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Did you now? There's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's actually gonna take care of the lawn? Leave the tool shed? Yes. I think I've seen everything in there. I hope so. This map takes way too long to load. I don't think I've seen everything. Okay, let's check in here then. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? Uh, I got my nigga chickens in the building. Got my nigga chicken. That's hilarious. That's plural. This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. Seems safe. We gotta check each chicken. Are you serious? It's a chicken. It doesn't have like a second form, right? I'm not looking at. <laughs> oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there are exactly five of them here. Exactly? Hmm. Five? You know, the number that comes after four and before six? At least, in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysterious 
the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least 30% right. It's a number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand squeeze all natural lemonade. <laughs> he never lets me get a word in edgewise. I don't think I've seen everything there is to see. Really now? Oh, this big ass. Huh? Oh, what is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy, super horny. Flowers aren't supposed to get that big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Oh my gosh. <sighs> That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it, and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa! And the plants are like, snap! And your flesh is all like, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. The ultimate botanist. We did not learn about that character at all. We know about the ultimate despair, though. What's up, Monokuma? Where is she? Actually, by the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Well done. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> Ew, man. Where's your teeth at? Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. And I get a coin. Great. 354 freaking coins. I think I've seen all... What is that, though? There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the sprinklers! Sprinklers? <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. That's something I gotta remember. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> of course, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning. <laughs> yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch yourself. <laughs> But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Yes. yes. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I think we all do. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone! I'm out of here. Yes, let me out. I've had enough of that place. Oh, this is the dojo. How do we get to the dojo? Oh, here you go, Kyogo. I'm like, who spoke about the dojo just now? Was that Sakura? And if so, how does she know about that up here? Maybe that was about the girl she whispered in my ear. I don't know. Let's find out. What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Mukuro Ikusaba. <laughs> oh my gosh. Take your head, put your headphones in for this episode. I hope y'all have your headphones in every episode. I hope my audio is mixed properly from my freaking recording. I kind of do this raggedy, but it just, you, you feel her saying that phrase every time she say it in my ear. Get out. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. Is she whispering this right now? The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko. I'm not gonna say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything any better than before. Kyoko is so trash the way that she does this though, like... Then walk me to the room so we can have a conversation in private. 
There's five floors now. We have plenty room for privacy, Kyoko. Stop acting weird. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here. And it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant. This this ain't elegant to you, Makoto? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? Okay, we got a little dojo action back here. That, oh, that's archery, okay. That target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. And I get a freaking Chuck E. Cheese. What is that, a Donkey Kong Congo drum? It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? Oh, that, might, that means that there might be uh, knives available, swords, I mean, machetes and such. We got a locker here. There's a bunch of wooden lockers here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of a super old school public bathhouse. Yes. Seeing everything there is to see there. And then I think I just got to check each classroom. And I should trigger a checkpoint or something. Whoa! 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 What the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. Oh my gosh! Who been in here? I was gonna make a Columbine jug, and I just, I just shouldn't do things like that. So I'm gonna retract that, and I'm gonna just leave it hopes peak. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's... <laughs> it must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying... <laughs> it's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. Whoa! Who did this, though? Who been in here? Um, Blanca? Uh, Wolverine? X-23. There was no surprise in his voice. No shock. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... Hey! hey what? My fault now. again? Stop trying to blame everything on me! If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. Unbelievable. No, no, no. It's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep, let me give you an itty-bitty, iggy-squiggy little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. Uh oh. <laughs> but it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait! I can't so it's not wait! Really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. <laughs> what is he talking about? If there's still bloody rooms in this in this school that looks fresh like this, there's definitely more students out here. And don't forget, we saw the pictures of the students that have died this series so far. We just don't know where they're at taking these pictures. He just left it the way he found it. It's the meaning of all this. Good lord. I don't think I've seen- oh, no, I didn't want to leave. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. What is the quality of this blood here? Fresh? There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears the bloodstains are dry, okay. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. That's right. Blood in this game is like pink. It's like a, it's like a weird pink. This is all really blood. Hmm. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? 
He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep up with someone like that. Eye for an eye. Can I click that? Sorry about that, you guys. I think we've seen everything. I want to get out of here now. Yes. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others have turned up. Oh my gosh. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long... Hmm. It would appear everyone has returned. Ugh. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second! Hey, don't be a sourpuss! We gotta think positive! Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team! Hey... That's like... Reverse positive thinking! Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. <laughs> can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Relax, my dude. Life yeah. is good. No, it's not. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to kind of be Sakura's job, but... Hmm. Anyway, no, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What you talking? What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? So then... Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? <gasps> Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But... But that's the hardest part! Okay! Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it! Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. You notice how every time Makoto starts to like be like, we gotta do this, like let's 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 try and do this. He always like gotta reassure himself, like, no, we gotta do this. There's no there is no maybe. We could take some notes from Makoto, bro. There's a lot of times where I kinda doubt myself and I'm like, bro, just just do it. Who cares? No, you gotta care, but like you get what I'm saying. Just don't just hype yourself up. Be your own hype man sometimes. You'd be surprised, bro. We talk too we talk down on ourselves too much. Hey, Kuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. <laughs> ah, I've forgotten about that. Mm -hmm. Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on! <laughs> well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> uh, you honor me, Master. <laughs> And don't worry, I took care of the older problem. Look at that drool, you know that shit stinks still. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it! What the Sh heck? Shut up, and don't interrupt when my master and me are talking. Um... Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in C class classroom on the fifth floor, and something caught my attention. It was th this. A knife? Oh! Wow, that thing's huge! It's like Rambo size! It's clean, though. What? It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in the classroom? Well... How, how would I know? Very suspicious. What are you gonna use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not g gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer who uses knives and scissors as her main tool. 
Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. That's the first time I've seen that image of Toko. That looks insane. Hmm. Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway, it's too dangerous. <laughs> hmm, so what to do? So then? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh, me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that. Hold on, I don't, I don't get a say? It's all clear now. Makoto, you better take that knife and quit tripping. You saw the classroom and nobody knows how that happened. You don't care? You think these is, you think you, you cold with these? No, you're not. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. <sighs> anyway, that, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, Toko. <laughs> ah, d do I still have b bad breath? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. <laughs> You know, you know she just got a little tickled. Huh? 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 Did the master just pra pra praise me? <laughs> hey, good job for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how she responds to praise. She's like a she's like a two year old when like you tell a two year old they breath sting. <laughs> bro, roasting two year olds with the truth be hilarious. Like, bro, you drink milk all day. Of course your breath is gonna stink. Why are you crying now? Dreaming! I must be dreaming! <laughs> oh, that I would ever e experience such a dream! Uh, look, there you go. Uh, so strange, really so strange! Oh no! I, uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Toko got a real problem. She needs some. She needs a release, just like just like uh, Manita asked for my hero. Yeah. I took time to check all the. Oh yeah, mm. yeah yeah. We already heard from you. Um, hero, what did you find besides Banyan Kush? You know. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about: a stupidly large plant, a chicken coop. And I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed! <laughs> Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. We're serious. It's totally a man eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. When I do these videos, I start to get lightheaded for some of these voices. So let's switch, switch gears for a second. And I'm just gonna drink some water and chill for a minute. <laughs> I'm over here really getting lightheaded. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in here. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds. Okay. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get what? Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, got a pound of banyan in my room, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. <gasps> so, um, what was the question again? <sighs> don't worry, you just answered it. That leaves Kyoko. Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Hmm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature. 
the final boss, or tyrant, or... But... We're not in a horror game, though. Hmm. Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right, too. Damn! Oh, whoops. Last but not least, cool, yeah, let's see what you got. Hm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. <laughs> the smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines on countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What? What? What, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody smell. Concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But... But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. Yeah. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously. I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps that's what was meant by... The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? I remember this. You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is, the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago. In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of student body at Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true... It's all clear now. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I, I guess that all makes sense, but... I missed it. <laughs> Not just awful, super <laughs> awfully awful! They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible. Tragic. Hopeless. But still... How is it not one of us have ever... Wait, what? How is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Hmm. Hmm. A strange room on the fifth floor. We can only assume that a large number of people died in that room. Hmm. So the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. Okay, yes, yes, we just, we, just, we just heard this, we just heard this. I've heard from everybody now, right? I can't go running off now, I have to hear what the others have to say. Maybe Kyoko has something to say. Hey. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. There's no need to think about it too much at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can, can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. I think they were talking about the bio room being locked, that was her main concern. What have I missed? Maybe Hina again? Yeah! No, we already heard from you. Toko? <laughs> Hero. You know? Oh! Okay. There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Hmm. That's right! Five! Five chickens! <laughs> I love chickens! Let's raise them up big and fat! Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Uh. Oh, oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? <sighs> I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. And then he had one more. You know? In the tool shed. You notice it too, huh? That pickaxe. What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? Um, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. Somebody dropped in. I think we're actually at uh, Pleasant Park. And the words Crazy Diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy Diamond? Hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Huh? Where? Ah, that's... Oh, that's, that's me. Ah, that's it. I remember. 
Huh? Wow. It was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Hmm. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck it in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? What did? Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. Huh? How are you going to call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe I can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to make crop circles. Well, and we can use those to <sighs> Good old Banyan. Call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you, you know? know? Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. Uh. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So, now what do we do? Hmm. Well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure out something. <laughs> no way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're going to bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um. So, what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Ooh, she stayed quiet. Kyoko, what do you what what is he talking about? Well, Kyoko's identity, but Kyoko is Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro. Hero's the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... Hmm. So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um... Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Hmm... Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm... It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? W why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? W what do you mean? So, because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Huh? Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But this if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is very you, suspicious. You can't be serious right now, can you? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However... But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? Hmm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Give me the key to your room. Whoa, Kuya. Whoa, Kuya. But if she gives you her room huh? key, she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. Hmm. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that... That's fine. Whoa. Fine. I understand. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for the conversation. Without saying a, a word, Kyoko walked right up to Kuya and held out her room key to him. Kyoko, what is going on? It, it can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. 
So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you, if you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where, where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit in. However... The worst school, where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Huh? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What is Kyoko talking about? Now she want to be Monokuma boyfriend. Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on this, and without a word began to walk away. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? What? What's her deal? What? I think you went too far. Taking her room key like that. <laughs> for, for her, that wasn't for far enough. <gasps> Maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her. Enjoying getting yelled at. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. <laughs> Damn, shit quieted. He got her on a leash like that. Wow. Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... But what's Kyoko going to do now? Plus, the situation is just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I, I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. <laughs> what? What? Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Um. What the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Because, I mean. Because, look. Oh, my gosh. This nigga here. What? What? It's you. How long have you been standing there? <laughs> I'm very... Fairy. Now I'm really angry! Anger! Ouch! My huh? thumb! Angry at what? Yeah. At the thief! Yes, that's right! I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst! Huh? What? Hey! My precious! They stole it! Your precious? Your teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? What is bro on? <laughs> Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um. But what the heck is your precious? Yeah. Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die in penniless on the street. Oh, and die penniless. Heck? And he's gone. What the heck was all that about? So, um. He said something about helping his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any, any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Or his knife. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? If that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the... Oh, we know, we know, we know. Um... Uh-oh. We need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow. And about Kyoko. Hmm. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms. Don't go wandering around. Well... Not like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, that's right. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What is she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... I'm actually going to save right there, you all. Um, hour and 30. I think that's a solid place to end, too, because... 
Man, where we are in the middle of the night with everybody at odds. After Sakura's death, too, you would think having a friend die and leave you a note from her herself saying, Hey, I'm killing myself because I don't want y'all to fight anymore. She still bodies her. She bodies herself and y'all still... Y'all fought the moment y'all read the letter. Like, what? how old are y'all? How old are y'all? I get it, y'all are trying to get out to school. Y'all have the fifth floor now. This should be the time y'all really come together. But of course, of course, everybody still got secrets. And I think that's what's keeping everybody at odds. Niggas just don't want to just tell the truth. Kyoko, who are you? Let's help you. But how can you really tell the truth in this place where everybody is secretly plotting to kill you? you yeah, shit, you die with your secrets. I mean, you live with your secrets... And you stay in Hope Speak Academy forever or you die telling the truth. Your choice. Sakura had the most meaningful death so far. Chihiro had the most devastating death in my opinion. And Hifumi was the saddest to see go. I'll be honest. Can't wait to see what these last characters have uh, in store. I feel like maybe Hiro's character is going to surprise us. Because this whole time he's just been like like the neighborhood pop man you know what i'm saying like all of his all of his statements are something somebody high would say he's always around greenery but maybe he's about to twist man like you never know you never know it would be this this uh chapter where he shine but he might also be one of the next to go or he could be the murderer you never <sighs> wait a minute when we saw that when we saw that image of whoever was killed in this chapter were they inside or were they around grass I gotta go back and watch that. But yo, if you enjoyed this and you're enjoying the series, please leave a thumbs up on this video. I truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos and hit that notification bell so you always know when I am live. I'm starting to do this thing where at nighttime, if I'm just playing Smash or like after my recordings, after we're done filming over here, if I'm just on Smash, I'm gonna just click go live. I'm not gonna keep the late night live streams posted. The live streams I do during the day, I'll leave up so that y'all can watch them. But the late night streams is just for those of y'all who can't sleep <laughs> like me and just want to play some Smash and just chill and, and whatnot. I think last last night when we had did it, we was just watching movie trailers, some YouTube videos, just talking BS and you know, you know how we do, bruh. Live each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Did y'all see him? Oh, you